Okay, so Davis is nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Let's see. First name Davis, last name Davis. I know, so if we got married. It'd be you. I'd be <laughs> oh, no, but I would have to take your name to be Davis Davis. Are you progressive enough to do that? I might take your name. <laughs> so we saw the movie last night, Waiting for Superman. And I'm curious to know um, how you want people to feel after they see it. Do you want them to feel empowered? Do you want them to feel angry? How would you cap that? I would say. I'd like people to feel that the stakes are even higher than they imagined, that the problem is huge, and it affects them no matter where you are. It affects the price of your home, the safety of your neighborhood, the competitiveness of the country. Um, the fact that our schools are so broken, it now is no longer a problem over there. But I also want them to feel like we now have the solutions, we know what works. So it, if we take action, we can actually fix our school. So worried and scared, but turning that into possibility and action. Now, uh, you've worked very closely with President Obama. Huh? Has he seen the film? Not yet. And are you planning on showing it to him? I'd like him to see it. Yeah. The, power, uh, the power and the money lies in the states. The federal government only gives a small percentage. So. The real change happens in the state capitals. Mm -hmm. But President Obama and Arne Duncan are actually using this race the top thing to encourage states to do uh, reform, encourage them to lift the charter caps, to change the idea of tenure and teacher pay. This is very unusual for a Democratic president to, to push the teachers' unions. The most moving part of the film are the kids in it. Yeah, yeah. I was particularly moved by the mother who was sending her daughter, Nikia, yeah. who was sending her daughter to parochial school. Absolutely, bro it broke my heart. Yeah. What has happened to her now? Well, because I see that, right. and I feel like I want to send her a check, I want to yeah. do something. Have people had that same kind of reaction to her? Yeah, you know, all these kids. I mean, there's a little girl named Daisy who wants to be a doctor. Mm -hmm. But you know, and, and I feel like Daisy's going to be okay. I don't know. I don't know. I, I actually, I don't know whether the schools are gonna be good enough to allow her to get what she wants in life. That's the amazing thing about the movie. It's like, all these kids have to play bingo mm. mm -hmm. um, to get a decent future. But I will say one, there was one thing that was very poignant for me uh, from Jeffrey Canada. Mm. When he said in the film, uh, a great teacher is like a great artist or a great musician or a great yeah. I mean that it's a is work of art. it's a work of art um, that when, when he said that how did you feel it's true and if we can get a new generation of great teachers really highly skilled teachers we can fix our schools really quick. quite a lineup Elton John Elvis Costello Bridges, Greg Allman, John Mellencamp. Uh, tell me about the Participant Foundation and how this all came together and how we can get invited. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I'm invited. The, uh, this great producer, T-Bone Burnett. Of course, we know him is, and love him. He, um, he saw the movie um, and just loved it so much. He wanted to do a concert um, that worked with us. Participant Media funded the movie. They funded In, In Inconvenient Truth. And wouldn't it be great to have a concert that um, promoted the movie but also... Uh, gave um, all its proceeds back to the arts because from their point of view and I agree that you can't just teach kids how to read, write, read and write you have to teach them you have to teach them art to develop them, every part of them, their personality so I'm hoping they'll give me a ticket but I'm just the guy who made the documentary I would think you'd be on stage or something yeah like singing what <laughs> <laughs> Well, I know you're a big fan of music, I am. Uh, yeah, yeah. so I would think it wouldn't be hard for you to get some some of your other friends, like like Jimmy Page or, or would, Jack White. Yeah, or, wouldn't it be fun? We should get or, Jack White. Or, or the Edge involved. I'm a big fan of music. Maybe the next film after I after I um, collapse after this one is to make another music film. That'd be fun. One more thing. Where yeah. do you keep your Oscar? Uh, uh, in my bedroom. So you see it every night. Uh, you know, well, my, when you're out traveling, I get, my father won an Oscar, so I got his. So I have his and mine next to each other. Nice. So they, they're, they're dating right now. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's a good couple to have. <laughs>
Thank you so much. Thank you. It's really Appreciate nice meeting you. My pleasure.